Hello there guys and welcome to what is our 25th C++ tutorial. Sorry for taking so long to make a tutorial but I've been fairly busy anyways. In this tutorial we're gonna go right ahead and basically um, we're gonna talk about two dimensional arrays which can actually be considered as matrices. So for for you who know about matrices this will you will understand this and it will be fairly simple to you. So anyways I already created a project here as you see and have my CPP file. If you don't have it, go ahead and pause the video and do that. And make sure you have included the IO stream and have basically this simple code here that we've been that we've been going over for the past 24 tutorials. And let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial. Just like always, we're gonna go ahead and type our code, and then afterwards we're gonna go over it and explain it line by line. Okay. First, what we wanna do today, we're gonna basically learn how to declare a uh, two-dimensional array and initialize it all right so first let's go ahead and declare two constant integer values i'm going to call the first one row i'm going to set it equal to three second one is going to be called column and three so for you that know matrices we're going to have three three rows and three columns so this is going to be a square matrix anyways next let's go ahead and declare our array I'm gonna call it my array and inside gonna type a row for the parameters gonna be for the number of elements it's gonna be row and column and that's basically it that's basically how we declared our array so our array here basically consists it's gonna consist of three rows and three columns and basically can hold a total of nine items or nine elements this is basically declaring the array but we are not initializing to anything so if we want to initialize it we can set it equal and then open bracket close bracket and inside of it let's go ahead I'm gonna just go ahead and type one we have to separate it by the elements have to be separated by commas what this what, what this is doing is basically saying this is row one the the brackets inside the brackets the same this is the first row which can uh, this is first row element one element two wait column one column two column three then we put a comma and another bracket open bracket close bracket and this is gonna be second row and this is gonna be column one column two column three and the same thing for our last row which is going to be column 1 I mean row 3 column 1 column 2 column 3 so this is initializing so now we have initialized our array with uh, basically since this has three rows and three columns our total uh, the total elements in the array well the total element that the array can hold since we made it here constant and we cannot change the value of it since we know that we only want nine elements, well, for this tutorial we do. You can make it as big as you want to, but for this story I'm going to make it uh, three by three. Anyways, now let's go ahead and print out something. So let's go ahead and type C out my array, and I'm going to put an end line. And here I'm going to basically display. Remember that in arrays they start from zero to two. That's three. Uh, that's three. So, if, if I put zero, that means row one. I'm gonna put. I want to display the item that's located in locate uh, the item or well, the element that's located in location row one and basically column two. So which number that that would be row one, which is here, and column two, which is two. So if we build this and run it, we should be able to see um, two display on the screen. Let me go ahead and build this. takes very long to build but it shouldn't take you long ok there we go it's finished let me run it here we go so we do see number 2 print out on the screen just like we expected we expected row 1 column 2 which is number 2 alright let's go ahead over our code one more time so up here we declared two constant integer variables uh, we, have, we, we, we went over this in our previous story so you should be very familiar with this and we set them equal to 3 and 3 
and then we display we declared our array here uh, called my array a two-dimensional array and we put three uh, it's gonna be a three by three uh, array basically which will hold a total of nine elements it's kinda like a matrix it's gonna be a three by three it's gonna be a square matrix and we we enter here well I entered this particular integers but you can make the array as big as you wish and can enter uh, you can make it uh, you can enter like different numbers or whatever you wish so and then finally we just displayed um, row one and column two of the array we printed out on the screen which was number two anyways this was a quick, quick tour on two dimensional arrays next we're going to learn how to basically print every single element uh, in of, of this array on the screen using a function so that will be our next tutorial anyways thank you for watching this one and please guys uh, I, I really appreciate it if you guys leave comments and subscribe to my channel and I truly appreciate you guys leaving comments and uh, basically making suggestions so if you have any suggestion about a tutorial you wish to see uh, don't be afraid uh, to send me a message or leave a comment I will I'll be more than glad to, to do so so anyways thank you for watching and please stick around for my tutorials and don't forget to subscribe and check out all my videos thank